At the moment, it is like quite topical to talk about intersex because there's a lot of controversy during the Olympics when an Algerian boxer who actually is fighting like a man, however, physically is supposed to be a woman and that raised a lot of controversy to decide what is the genetic basis of this person. Intersex essentially is a collection of medical conditions that actually may not define the true gender differentiation between men and women. Let's get down to the basic. For men, in a typical genetic makeup is XY. For a woman, a typical genetic makeup is XX. When a man or an individual started having an additional chromosome, for example, XXY, then physically this person is a man. However, they may have some female characteristic. And this condition was discovered by an American endocrinologist in 1940s called Harry Kleinfelter. And this is a condition called Kleinfelter syndrome. Kleinfelter syndrome is more common than you think. It happens in one in 1,000 individuals. And the risk of getting Kleinfelter essentially is advancing maternal age. For example, a mother who is conceiving at the age of 40 and above will have an increased risk by five times to have a Kleinfelter child. Kleinfelter itself is not a disease, although men with Kleinfelter have certain characteristics. For example, they have long arms and long legs, they have weaker musculature and also enlarged breast tissues. And another characteristic is that their testicle will be smaller, vast majority of them will be infertile, and a vast majority of them will have lower sex drive and sexual dysfunction as well. A normal person of Kleinfelter will grow to a normal age of life expectancy. However, some of them will seek for treatment. For example, men who has got enlarged breasts don't like to have such characteristics, may opt for removal of breast tissues. And also, sometimes men who have got Kleinfelter will also ask for testosterone replacement therapy in order to make them look more musculature. Although Kleinfelter is a condition that is an intersex, XXY itself will make them look physically a man who has got an external genitalia that is a man. Therefore, Kleinfelter can never be mistaken as a woman unless the mutation itself will have a lot more X in the actual chromosomal abnormality. And that might raise a lot of question marks about the appearance of the external genitalia and also somebody who has got such mutation might look a little bit like female. So for the following week, we are going to talk about another form of intersex, which we discussed before, is a condition called hypospadias. And that itself might result in a form of ambiguous genitalia and another form of intersex. If you are interested in this whole topic, stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.